Collect 250 in one game. 44 cases. God, I've only solved six cases. How terrible is that? That's pretty miserable. Beat hard mode without firing a bullet. That's a rough one right there. Wow. Spend $10,000. 9480 more to unlock. Dear God. Alright, we'll see you later, Aragorn. You take it easy. 250 suspects. We're almost there on that one. 47 more lockpicks. This one's pretty hard, too. Closing a case in four days. I haven't managed to do it yet. I've tried really, really hard, but I've gotten close. Let's get back on the streets. There's crims to solve. Jasper, get out of the way. You're using up my hunger. All right. And it looks like the police are out to get us this time. It's going to be a little bit tough, but we'll stick with the mob for a while. The slums are up for grabs early, so we're going to go for the slums, since nobody hates us over here. Florence, right? Okay. Hey, get out of the way, rat. Using up all my hunger meter. Nothing in the bed. See if there's anything in the bathroom. I'll see you later, Lizarino. You take it easy. Thanks for coming to the stream. I appreciate it. Ah, dress shoes. There it is. Alice Scott. Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool, Wolf Knight. If you got family stuff to do, like, I would never, ever, like, expect somebody to be in a stream. I don't expect anybody to be in a stream, to be honest. Like, if it fits into your schedule, I'm glad to see you here. But if you got, like, other family business to take care of, family always comes first. That's, like, one of those long-held tenets of life. It's just, like, family first, no matter what. You gotta take care of the fam. Let's talk to these last couple mobsters and see if they've got anything for us. Kenneth Robinson has been put on the list. As has Betty Hall. Betty Hall sounds like an actress's name. But we'll head back outside, and it looks like the mob is at the mechanic shop right now. Oh, ooh, the police station's going to be empty right now. Let's go to the police station. One of the things I like about this game is it plays sort of like a board game, almost. Like, I could definitely see this game being converted into a board game that you just play with your friends or whatever with a bigger map. You could have, like, four or five people playing it. Different detectives all trying to solve the same crime. Seems like that would be a lot of fun. I mean, it definitely feels like a board game when you play it. $10 in a jail cell, okay. And a business card. It's not much to go on, but it's a little bit. And so I'll take finding something versus finding nothing every single time. So the police are staked out at City Hall right now. I don't really know where to go with this one. Do we still have a lockpick left? No, we used our lockpick. Okay. So not having a lockpick. We don't want to go to the watchtower just yet because we need to find another lockpick. Let's go to the mechanic shop and hope there's no cops. I don't know if there will be, but male fingerprints found. Robert Miller added to the list. Okay, well, that's a little bit more. Well, we just gotta be smart. I guess we could do the speakeasy for once. We never go to the speakeasy because it's mob ruled. So we may as well come over here. Pull a scorpion and be like, get over here. Come on. Nine dollars. He sells bullets most of the time, I think. Jack Robinson added to the suspects. Jack Robinson reminds me of Jackie Robinson, which is one of my, I feel deathly well balls. I'm not going to steal from the mob today, but I am going to go feed myself because obviously we're starving to death right now. I may come back and gamble because we need money very, very badly. I don't know if there's any trick to it, like for example in Dead Rising where if you have like yourself maxed out on luck or whatever, you can sit and you can sit and gamble all day and actually come out ahead pretty consistently. I'm getting calls to check the list. So let's check the list. We've got dress shoes, civilian or mobster, civilian or mobster, and male fingerprints. So the best we know right now is that it's a dude. That's all that we know. Over here, we've got a pretty good list of suspects to run with. And I'm thinking that if we can get a few more clues, this one's going to be pretty open and shut. If you can get this one early, as long as it's not a cop that we have to arrest. If it turns out being a cop, then this could get a little bit rowdy, since I have no idea how to get amnesty from a cop. So if it's Kenneth Robinson, we're kind of hosed. But if it's anybody else, we should be okay. 
There's a civilian takeover of the hideout. I'm starving to death, so I'm going to the diner. Hopefully there's no cops here. And there is, so I've murdered a cop now. Cop killer. Ice-T would be proud of us. Another one! How many cops am I going to have to kill here? Oh my god. We are just murdering the hell out of some cops today. Alright, so this time we're in. Found a free lockpick. Ah, oh, we starved to death. Ass. Oh, those biological functions. We didn't quite make it. We didn't quite make it. We were so hungry for justice that we starved. Check the bed one last time, like we always do. $13 to start out with, and it's the mob this time. Irene Williams has been murdered at the mob hangout. So let's go ahead and we're going to check the mob hangout. Simply based on the fact that while they're cleared out, we need to make hay while the sun's shining. Nobody gets in between me and a ham sandwich. That's a definite way to get yourself wasted. Alright, nothing to be found here. That was a big old waste of time. We got the pencil, which is going to let us know that they're either an artist or something. I suppose we'll check. Oh, no, never mind. They don't like us right now. Let's go to the watchtower. Uh, the building in the bottom left is the fort. There's nothing really there, but if you have 20-something lockpicks, you can open up the fort's like armory or something like that. It's never, it hasn't been opened in a hundred years according to the lore. I've never been able to get it open. I don't know how you get like a hundred lockpicks, but you need a lot. You need 20 lockpicks, I think. Sunglasses? Okay, bottle of rum, even better. Looks like this was the place to go to. Donald Thompson's been added to the list. We could find some money, we could actually feed ourselves. Nothing. I'm not gonna go up there because that guy clearly wants to kill me. Hence the floating gun sign over his head. If anybody ever walked up to me in real life with a floating gun sign over their head, I would assume absolutely that nothing good was about to happen. It was probably going to be really, really rowdy. Especially since I don't have the means to, like, fire back or anything. Like, oh, I guess you can shoot me if you want. I mean, I don't think I ever hurt you, but okay. The drugstore. I don't want to go to the drugstore right now. We'll go to City Hall. Since there's only going to be civilians there. And we have a guarantee. A lockpick? Okay, we'll put that to use in a little bit. Jack Taylor says that Harold Adams done it. The mayor of the city works from this desk. Well, for working from that desk, he doesn't ever seem to be here now, does he? Lazy bastard. Politicians. Oof. We only have $18, so I'm not even sure I can feed myself right now. We may want to hit up, like, one more place, possibly. Just kind of see how it goes. I believe... Who hated us? It was the mob, right? Artist or poet? Poet or chef? Okay, so odds are... Oh, we got two poets. So what we really need right now is a male fingerprint or a female fingerprint. To really kind of hone our investigation. I think there's usually mobsters in the hotel... Not positive on that one, but I'm pretty sure they are. Thomas Taylor, okay. Henry White. Yeah, you have to have like a pretty solid reason in California to get a concealed carry list. Or, I'm sorry, I can conceal carry license. I mean, I could probably get one because I'm a geologist and I spend so much time out in the mil like wilderness and whatnot. I would almost guarantee that I could probably get one, just based on the fact that I spend so much time out in the middle of nowhere, but it's a big hassle too and it's super expensive. There was a guy down in Southern California somewhere around Death Valley that would just like, you would pay 50 bucks and he would just give you one, like under the table, a sheriff down there that would issue one, but I think he got arrested. Pretty sure he got arrested. So I think we found ourselves had a little bit of an imp so we have finger we have female fingerprints. So we know it's a woman who's possibly a poet. So Virginia Robinson's a pretty good guess right now, although 
Could be an artist. I mean, you never know. Definitely gonna need more evidence, otherwise... We need something to eliminate by faction, I think. And so we can go to the city hotel route, because everybody's been killed. Guess we'll search the couch cushions for anything that might be useful. We'll also check the piano over here, and I think that'll be about all we're going to be able to do here. I think we have, actually we have lockpicks. We can check, we can check upstairs, too. I feel deathly. Well, damn. I guess we'll go get some dinner then. I mean, I kind of wanted to get stuff done while I was here, but I'm not trying to die. The music in here is very, very classy. Makes me feel like I should be holding my collar and, like, prancing around. Police station's up. Let's go to the diner. Hopefully there's no mobsters. You gonna make me fight for my dinner again? Like, really? Like, this needs to stop, for real. Like, people need to not put their hands up if you murder a criminal. It's ridiculous. It's actually kind of irritating. Like, it's a bad game design. Like, why... I mean, I guess we could go to the market, but there's mobsters here, too. And also, the food sucks here. The food is really bad here. Ah, we're broke. Okay. So let's continue our investigation. A gun holster, huh? Hey, how's it going? I think... God, still starving and we have no money now. We need to put the finger on somebody. And so let's pick somebody right now. Police or mobster, police or mobster. So it's kind of a 50-50 right now. We know it's not a civvy, probably. I think we'll go for... You need a female artist or a poet. A female poet. So we got Irene Scott or we got Virginia Robinson. Irene Scott's a mobster. Virginia Robinson's a cop. I can't arrest Irene Scott, so let's just go for Virginia Robinson since we're gonna starve to get we're gonna starve to death really, really soon. Oh, she's behind a locked door. Luckily I have lockpicks, so this should work out in our favor, but you never know. Twelve dollars. Put your hands in the sky! Nah, it was Lois Hall. It's not a female poet mobster. It said mobster or cop on all of those. We didn't have a mob ID that said 100% that it was a mobster. It could have been either or. We had the gun holster, which could be for either a cop or a robber. We'll see you later, Wolf Knight. Thanks for coming to the stream. You take it easy. Let's do one more run, and then I'll probably break off the stream a little bit early tonight, because I feel like we've been doing the same thing over and over and over again. Hey, Bumpy! I didn't see you join the stream. How's it going, Bumpy? Everybody should go watch Bumpy's LPs. Like, go do that right now. Bumpy makes LPs, and they're good, and so you should go watch them. They are enjoyable. In fact, I'm going to give Bumpy permission to link his channel just because I know him so well, and we've been buds for so long. So link that thing, Bumpy. Link it. Get yourself some views. The police are out to get you. That would seem kind of paranoid in anybody else's house. I think the police are out to kill us, so I'm going to go to the market first. Yeah, Taylor just changed the way that his name is spelled to evade arrest. Gather up all of our suspects here. Hopefully we get a lot out of the market. It kind of depends where the clues fall. If you get unlucky about where the clues lie, you could get yourself... No, I don't want to leave, Nat.
Ooh, in the church. We know there's not going to be any cops there, so let's go to the church. Check all the pews. Nothing there. The church was actually pretty good for us, though. Let's take a look at our list for a minute. We've got sunglasses. So right now, it could be just about anybody. It could be a police, a civilian, or a mobster. And then we've got a bunch of suspects so far, each of which have slightly overlapping. Actually, no, this could turn out okay for us. This might turn out okay for us. It might be alright. We'll see what happens. I don't know what game I'm going to play next year. I'm not really sure. I kind of decide, like, the morning thereof, and then I just kind of run with it. I'd like to get something going that's contiguous, like something that I do every single week until we beat it, but I have such trouble like keeping my attention span on any one game that I don't know. We'll see how it goes down. Selling white wine, selling like a cheese platter for 40 bucks, god that's an expensive cheese. He sells seared steak for $70, yeah I bet it's a great deal. God. Well, it's because, like, I get a list, like, every week, Bumpy, I get a list from Desura. They send me, like, a list of all of their favorite games, and I have to cover them for my Desura episodes, and so I always end up getting a lot of, like, really weird indie games. This one, however, has taken the cake. I haven't gotten anything this fun in a long time. That's my fancy dance right there. Fancy dance time. Sometimes, hey, what's up, creepy? How you doing today, man? I think we already did the market, so we're not going to go back there. We will, however, go to the slooms. Female fingerprints. The plot thins, or at least our list of suspects thins. Richard Hill's on here. A mob ID is found, so we know it's a female mobster. We can pretty much make an accusation right now if we really, really wanted to. We feel starved. We're going to feel deathly pretty soon. I should probably take care of that. Let's stop doing any searches. Uh, Puffin, if I just don't like the game, I don't cover it. But they give me, I have a login for their FTP server, which has like a bajillion games on it. And I can pretty much just go and like download it if I want. I mean, basically there's no point for me to buy anything from Desura because as a perk of working for Desura, they give you an FTP client that has all of their games on it. So it's just like, meh, download whatever you want. With nine Danes remaining, we'll go to the diner and hopefully there will be no popos here. Oh, for once there's no popos. I'm so happy right now. I know I feel deathly. I'm trying to eat. Calm down, game. Let's have a pot roast. There we go. We feel normal. Nice. We got ourselves all nice and fed. We've got a pretty good idea who the murderer might be as well. Let's see here. We got a female mobster. We could use something that gave some kind of idea what her job would be. I mean, it could just be Barbara Thompson. Eh, we'll sit on it for a little while. Uh, they don't get posted to my channel, Bumpy. They get posted to Desura's channel. I try to link to them as much as possible. I have a playlist, but, you know. The playlist gets... I don't like the way the playlists work on YouTube. They get sunk too easily. I think we could probably go... Let's go to the mob hideout right now and see if we can find anything else useful. Leather gloves. Okay, so that's going to help us out. That's going to indicate that they're either a driver or something else. I forget. But they're either a driver or... I don't know. Like a cage fighter or something. Paul White is added to the list. Barbara Thompson says she detests Egyptian mythology. Why would I name myself Anubis? And Mary Young has been murdered. I think we have enough to make an arrest right now. Let's have a look-see. A chef or a driver? That's what it is. A chef or a driver. So do we have a female Barbara Thompson? Was she our guy? Or our lady? That's her. Let's go get her. Let's go get her. We got this. We got this by the ass. It has to be her. She's in the bank, though. And there's going to be police officers here. This is going to get rowdy. No! <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
so upset by this. I'm so upset like this. All right. Well, I think I'm going to break the stream off here, take a little bit of an early night for me. we got about two hours in, so that's cool. I don't think the game has a whole lot left to show you. The game is called Noir Syndrome. Go check it out on Asura at $6.99, or you can get it on your phone, which is where I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it on my phone, because I can tell this is going to be a time killer for me from here on out. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next stream, which is going to be on Wednesday, I think. And so I will see you there. I don't know what we're going to be playing yet. I'll decide when we're a little bit closer to... Was it Barbara? Oh. Well, damn. I'm bad at this game. I'm bad. Ah, well. I'll see you guys, you guys in the next stream. I'm gonna hang out in the chat for a little while. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that now that the stream is over. I'll try to do my best to answer them while I go around and do all my rendering and stuff like that. And I will see you guys on Wednesday.